Please tell me there's volume. Testing. One, two, three. Testing. Any sound? Yes, there's sound. Woohoo! Um, live chat. This one is from, nope. Hey, hi. Yes, hello, hello, hello. I don't know what happened. I did something. I don't know why it stopped with the volume. Um, but there's no shortage of boxes to unbox, guys. None. So I'm going to, I'm on a happy roll. So we're going to, we're just going to unbox. Yeah. I'm trying to find. There's one in here in particular I'm trying to find so I can unbox it because I wanted to unbox it. It's my other Vestier Collective item. It's my third item from Vestier Collective. Um, let me see if I can find who the shipper was so I can figure out. Um, okay. I know this one. Where did I see this box? Not you. Ah, there it is. This one. This box. I know we don't have everybody back, but okay. It's okay. Um, let me see if I can, if I missed any texts. So we'll see if people could find us. Some people are asking me to come back live. They don't know I'm already live because they probably didn't get a notification. Um, yes, this is, this is, <sighs> Jackie has a shopping problem. This is, okay, so <sighs> this is my vintage Bottega Veneta bag from Vestier Collective. It was a pay over time, so I'm still paying for it. And the Max Mara is also pay over time. So let's take a look and see what I got. Um, Wait a minute. Well, heck, it's not my. This is not my Bottega Veneta. <laughs> oh, yes, it is. Yes, it just came in a real, real pouch. It's not from the real, real. It's from Vestier Collective. Um, Yes, I have a theme. Yes, I understand. I like the same things over and over again. Winnie, I could do the same video Winnie does. Like, I save myself how much money because I keep buying the same bag over and over again. <laughs> uh, the live cut off for me. For, oh, no, no. I had to turn it off because the live didn't have no audio and my microphone is finicky that if it does that, I can't just plug it back in. It won't work. I have to restart the whole thing. It could just be YouTube studios. Um, I'm looking at a new, a different streaming software. I just haven't done it yet. Uh, but this is a vintage Bottega Vedetta. Um, you know how I like myself some pleated bags. Look at the handles on this. Yes, they're dark from, you know, oils in your hand, but that's what happens to handles guys. I'm okay with it. Um, look at the, how this pleat not pleat, but this detailing, this is laser, like a laser cut leather. Gosh, this is pretty. The bottom, it has a tear in the leather. Um, but this is, a, this is like a lamb. This is so, this is so, um, soft. It's like, 
It's so soft. This is one of the softest. Uh, this is one of the softest bags I have. Um, let me look on the inside. She stuffed it with a magazine. Shredded magazine. That's a first. So here's the inside. Pretty good. It has a, a, a like a wire structure. Something in here to keep um, more of a frame. It has the old school um, pocket. It's a suede um, interior. Let's see. There's a, a, a pocket here. Oh, look. There's a... It did come from the real real. So this came from the real real originally. Um, so it has a real real tag. Um, but it got resold on Vestier Collective, probably because of the age, you know? Um, calf is called Calf. They love Calf. Really? It could be Calf. It's really, really... Um, I love Beethoven uh, pre-Daniel Lee, back when Thomas Mayer was the creative director and Craftsman was still priority the brand. Your bag is gorgeous. Thank you! Um, I just liked all the details when I saw the photos. I liked all of... It's perforated and then woven in the handles. And then see the the laser cutting kind of on on the trim. That's all leather. Um, hey, Winnie. So I open, I unboxed my other. This is my third Vestier Collective bag. This is my Bottega Veneta. My only Bottega Veneta. Vintage Beauty. She was a $153 off Vestier Collective with tax and shipping. And let's see, what do I have in here? She was on sale. The, the seller did give me an offer, which is why I ended up getting this bag. Let me read you the details. Um, so this description, classy, elegant Bottega bag with cut, cute details. Braided handle, silver tone, perfect. It didn't actually list the um flaw at the bottom of it it didn't actually list that there was a there was a tear in the leather but again it's a vintage bag if there's gonna be a tear anywhere i'm happy it's right there <laughs> so i mean it's not on the front it's not in the woven leather this is so pretty look how beautiful this is hey pixie um so yeah you're some you can see some of the base metal underneath the metal of this this silver heart i mean we don't look brand new guys we're aged we're aged and we're beautiful that doesn't change the fact <laughs> that we're we're designer we're made in italy and we're still beautiful guys we're we're just not as young as we all once were <laughs> so this bag is 15 inches wide nine and a half inches high five and a half inches deep and it came out of the united states um so it's an listed as good condition the lady who sold to me only had three things listed she only has one thing listed for sale right now which is a burberry bag and um i am thrilled to own her vintage um it's giving old yes granny cheek that is like my vibe i love grandma bags i tell everybody i love grandma bags my grandmother who lived to be 98 years old was my inspiration for my bags she grew up she was born in 1908 she lived until 2007 and she only had two bags and that I remember, you know, um, one was a black pleated bag, handheld carry and one with a red one. And every time I look for bags, I look for that bag. I wish I had it. I wish I had them. I wish I even had a photo, not just my memory, but I love the look of this type of bag. So yes, I buy the same silhouette over and over and I'm aware, I'm aware, I know you know, don't judge, <laughs> but this is different. <laughs> this one's different. I don't have, I probably won't buy any more Bottega Veneta because I mean, I would love to have that big Jody bag. And, and my inspiration for this bag honestly was because of, um, Melissa and she, she won't, she won't find that as a compliment because she's the one who keeps telling me to, to downsize, not keep buying things because, um, she's, she's in that, um, Use what you have. Be more mindful. Uh, and here I am, like, woohoo! We're buying more bags. 
I know, I know I have issues, but I'm running out of space. I'm seriously running out of space and I'm going to have to be more. Um, the Ricky bag really has changed my mindset though. If I can buy a, a Ricky bag for $400, $500, I can buy this Bottega Veneta for a hundred and a half. Um, and, and it's a beautiful, soft, characteristic details, craftsmanship. I mean, the details in this bag, I know you can see some of them, but you really can't see all of them. The how this thing is constructed, I am amazed at how this is made. This pleating detail, this strip of leather that they put between the this and the bottom, I think is amazing. There is a structure up here um, inside that's keeping this shape. It's pretty dang cool, but at the same time, it's soft. It's still soft. And for something that, you know, is an east-west bag, the corners are in fabulous condition, you know? She she drank the luxury handbag Kool-Aid. Oh, well, so I've always been a vintage bag person, but I am not sold on only luxury because for me, luxury is subjective, right? I love bags, all the bags. Some of my favorite bags in my house are $5 bags. Um, so I can't really be only luxury i'm a contemporary i'm a contemporary bag person i i am um i i just am i like fun bags i love dooney i like workhorse bags i i love that type of bag i'm just not going to be going around buying 500 dollar coach bags when i can get 150 dollars for a vintage bottega that's this beautiful why would i why would i go spend 500 dollars on a new coach i mean they're coming out with a new denim drop, and I kind of want it. But I, again, again, I've been burned by Coach so many times. I'm over. I do have two Coach bags over there in those boxes. So, you know, when I say I'm not buying a new Coach bag, that didn't say I went buy a used Coach bag. <laughs> I have in those boxes a Rogue. <laughs> So y'all, <laughs> I'm I'm maybe a little bit of a hypocrite, but <laughs> y'all, I, I have coach bags. I just not gonna be buying any new coach bags now. Somebody wants to take that depreciation hit. I'll I'll go for it. I'll go get the used one. But I'm not spending five and six hundred dollars for the new one. I don't need a new one. I like my bags with age. I like my bags with some character. I like my bags with a little bit of, you know, a look to them. I grew up in the 90s. It was the era of grunge, guys. You know, Coach Jump Drop, where, when I need it. It's coming up. The leak came from Malaysia because they have, they get their stock before us. I don't know why. They get, Asia gets their releases before America. It's an American brand. So they're coming out with not a light denim, not a dark denim, but a denim in between. It's really pretty. And apparently the tabbies or something, are you can pre-order them. Um, the UPS driver must... Oh, y'all. The UPS driver knows... The UPS lady at the store knows me. The, the postage lady knows me. Oh, is it a bag? They already know the custom slips I'm going to need. I'm probably the only person who's sending stuff over to England. <laughs> um... Yeah, they have the dark denim and the black denim in the outlet. Um, yeah, so I have, again, I have, oh, you have the navy blue Dempsey carryall at the outlet for $128. D, that's awesome. The Dempsey is a really phenomenal bag. I like the Dempsey, the Field Tip, the Rogue, the Rowan. Those are my favorite bags, you know. Oh, yeah, I, I can tell you that I know that my postal person was cursing me when they put all these boxes in front of my, in front of my door. Yeah, I'm on a band, too, after all this um, shenanigans and fun. Um, I'm, I said, and I said I wasn't going to do this. And Burke and Boy, he's my accountability partner. Well, he can't be because he's my enabler. So I, so I probably should find an accountability partner because I already have the enabler. Um, but he and I were like, I'm like, okay, I can't buy anything. I can't buy anything until March. And this lady who I promised to buy this bag from, she's holding it for me. So I'm going to buy that bag for her in March. And it'll be the only bag because I have a vacation in April. 
the beginning of April and I have to afford my vacation. We have to board our dogs. We have to go on vacation, pay for a hotel, get on the boat. You know, it's, it's one of the very few vacations James and I are taking just us. No friends, no extra people, just he and I. Um, we desperately, sorely need it. Um, we haven't been on a, just us vacation in, I don't remember. Even on our wedding and honeymoon, we had friends with us. We are those people that travel in packs, you know? They only curse people who have pets, who have pet food, mattresses, and big packs of water delivered to your phone. <laughs> the pet food, I can understand. I mean, those bags are heavy. Um, Cammie says, I don't remember... I don't remember why I ate for breakfast lately slips. Yeah, with well, with Coco keeping you up all night, Cammy. Um, Rail, today's a court processor rang my doorbell. I was in my robe. We wanted the house to house. Oh. <laughs> you know what? Do I have that over here? Yes. Oh, whew. I just realized I have a jury summons, guys. I haven't been summoned for jury duty, and I cannot tell you when. And all of a sudden, I had a notice in the mail, and I go, oh, God, they found me. It's been 10 years, maybe 20, 20 years since I changed counties, and this county is smaller. And here I am. I'm like, great, jury duty. Um, You might make a great accountable company. Winnie! Winnie! Winnie, want to be my accountability partner? <laughs> Tell me no. The black little coach barrel. Um, Keith, I stopped buying my pet food from Amazon. The boxes were so big, I was scared it would kill my postman. <laughs> we had to go do actual work today. Uh, this sucked. Rael, we need more info on this story. Keith was, um, they found her. Um, I got one recently, but it got out. Oh, hey, Miss Jelly, I think my neighbor is in debt. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, when are you going on vacation? Is it that private? No, no, it's April 9th. We're going on a Disney cruise with 2,000 of our closest friends, um, leaving out of Galveston. <laughs> but don't worry, the house is being watched. The dogs will be in a house sitter, and Grandma should be fine. Um She's still in the hospital. She had her heart cath done. She's okay. So we don't know. She'll probably, honestly, right now, she looks like she'll probably be going to a rehab center to, you know, depending on how the heart catheter went. So we'll find out later how she's doing. Where are you going on vacation? Uh -huh, I will, but you kind of have to get there on your own i found oh <laughs> i'm going to new york city um i let my husband talk to the processor uh do you oh yeah i speak thai totally um i cannot read thai i can speak thai with an accent and my mother is always like i can't believe you still can speak thai I'm like mom i have to occasionally i'll go to youtube and i'll go listen to some thai content creators just to remember um um, he acted. He acted like it was for me that he finally coming. <laughs> um, when he do 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 do. By the way, of Philly, when are you going to New York, Winnie? Um, are you going there for for the the girls meet up this year? I think they did it last year. Um, for the Memorial Weekend or whatever. I flew like no one's biz. <laughs> Yay, Winnie. Um, no, so I am I am on a I'm I'm trying to eke out these these um unboxings because they're gonna be the last ones for a while. <laughs> um Winnie in New York City, good for you. Um but she can't come to Chicago, Miss Jelly says. Native, does your mother-in-law have space in her room for bag shelves while she's gone? <laughs> no, she doesn't. Oh, my goodness, no. Actually, guys, I have a whole outbuilding that I need to actually just clean out because it has my dad's estate in there. And it's been five years, and I really just need to go through all the paper. You know, I mean, it's boxes and boxes of paper. Um, his home had a flood after his death, so... It had to 
had abatement done to it and then everything was moved to a warehouse so everything got jumbled up and i'm sure half of it's broken there's bills from 2001 next to things from 1960 you know it's just like it's a it's a nightmare and i just can't just wholesale throw it out i have to go through all of it and um yeah don't make your kids your executors it's a, it's a curse um but anyway I've been having a blast finding some of these most amazing bags. Um, I've been looking for Bottega bags for a long time, um, mainly because of Melissa Wade Adams, her Jody bag. She she says Bottega is her favorite brand, but surprisingly, she has two of her Bottega bags on sale. She has the cassette bag and a pouch bag for sale. I can't afford them. Um, I can't afford the one for $150. I'm fine with that. I mean, you can't Gold Ricky and Cognac Ricky. Which one is your fave? The Cognac. The Cognac is a piece of art. The Cognac is... I can't describe the feel of this bag as much as it's... Um, it is the thickness of the leather, the pleating of the leather, the age and the wrinkles. The fact that the lady who sold that bag to me gave all the money for it to homeless dogs in need in her area it is a gift i view my cost of buying that bag was a donation for her to donate to the homeless shelter for animals so how can you not love that it was a charity you know so basically you're pretty much looking at the lineup of my favorite bags maybe not the max mara because i haven't actually used the max mara that blue one right there but that blue ralph lauren bag is pride and joy Next to my Ricky, the pleated Ricky, and then the golden Ricky. Now, I probably would put a different bag behind the golden Ricky because um, the Max Mara bag I haven't used yet. I can't say it's my pride and joy, but it's it's one of them. <sighs> yes, beautiful steps has the Bonnie Cash in original 70s. Um, thank you. Um, yeah, so my Ricky bags are just, they're, they're, those are my. Like, literally, I'm thinking about selling my Louis. I, I have a Louis Bandelier 30 Speedy I'm thinking about selling because I like this, these more. Um, a lot more. Like, a lot, lot more. Way more. <laughs> Way more. <laughs> um, there's a bag of dental to pleated one for three grand. I know, because it only came out for two seasons. And the reason why mine was so cheap, one, is because it did, it had some damage to it, which is minor. Um, it had, um, it didn't have the key clochette or the key thing. And people who collect bags want the whole package. You know, they want all of it. It didn't have a dust bag. You know, it just, it just was a bag, you know? And for me, I was like, uh, it went through one rotation already on eBay before, and I bought it on this. It went all the way through a bidding process. And nobody bid on it, and it relisted, and I bought it for the list price, the, the, the bottom basement list price of four twenty five, plus shipping and tax. It ends up being four seventy five. But you know, for that pleated Ricky, it is the best bag in my entire collection, construction wise, material wise. I only thing better made than that Ricky bag is my um, Junie Clayton bag. That bag is made really well. Jackie, oh my god, you will love my trade with Ed. What did you trade, Ed? My trade with Ed's coming up tomorrow, Winnie. Is yours coming up Saturday? Because um, my mine comes up tomorrow. Um, so you're saying more. Um, I want a speedy bando... Um, well, it's a speedy 30 bandolier. Did you say speedy? I said speedy, Miss Jelly. Um, is that speedy a monogram? Yes, it is. It is a monogram, speedy. It is a 30. It's right over here. Where is it? Where did I put that bag? Or is it in my bedroom? This one? This one. <laughs> Put on sale now. <laughs> For the Clayton is now top of my wish list. Yes, the Clayton is a beautiful, beautiful constructed bag. I heard the Ricky bag is similar to quality to craftsmanship of the Birkin bag. Yes, Keith. And Craig has both. And he agrees. Craig has the Birkin and he has like 
I don't know how many Rickies he has. He actually says they are quality for quality on par with each other. Um, guys, I bought it for $1,000. You can get it for cheaper than that. But this is what I paid for it. And I will sell it to you for what I paid for it. But that's up to y'all. And it, it's not perfect, guys. Nothing I own is perfect. You know, so it's not a bargain bag. I'm sorry. Yes, it has a strap. Yeah. yeah. There's tarnishing on the metal. If you, if you, here's the strap. You see, there's, it's, this is not a new bag. But when I bought this, resale was not as low as it is now. So when I bought this, I paid $1,000 for it. Yeah. You're going to give me a heart attack? I am? Is this on your wish list? Beautiful steps. Yeah. So it has um, Louis Vuitton Paris made in France. Yeah. It's a beautiful bag, but I don't, um, it's not my favorite bag. Strap, <laughs> strap on. <laughs> okay fine there's tarnishing on the metal there's wear on the leather there's age this is not a young bag there is um some wear on the piping like no like seriously you can get buy nicer bags than this for less money now but that's why i haven't really put it up for sale because i know i i won't get the money i even put into it out of it so i don't want to and I don't want people just to buy it just because it's mine. Like, I want you to have it because you want this bag. And it's, you know. So, anyway. Yeah, that's my Speedy. Speedy 30. Barely used. <laughs> no more talking? What do you mean no more talking? Um, they're selling for way more, I think. No, they're not. Yeah, but canvas rips or... T uh, oh, no. There's no rips and tears on this. No, no. Um... This is, there's, no, no, this is, this is, and there's no rips, there's no cracks, there's no tears, there's, um, no popped stitches. The only thing on here is some wear on the, on the piping because it's, you know, Viketa, um, it's just a leather bag. Is it a good, no, it's a beautiful bag. I'll show you the inside. Okay, sell for twelve hundred. <laughs> Winnie, if you can see the inside. Yeah, it's a normal. It's a normal speedy, guys. It's nothing out. It's nothing unique. It's just a normal speedy, but it's nice. It's a nice speedy. It has. I don't know where the dates are on these things. Does it matter? Oh, there it is. Um, M80... No. MB4178? I don't know. I can't read Louis. MB4178. Some... <laughs> this jelly says sold. In good condition... Trust the process, Jackie. I've shown she's nice, but I'll stick with the Speedy 25. Oh, yeah, totally. I get that. Um, it's great bag, very rare. Nice use, pre love. <laughs> very rare. It's a Speedy 30. They're not rare, <laughs> they're kind of everywhere. Um, France, 2018. Saya! Frozen Luxury. Oh, that's this is a 2018 bag? It seems like it's older than that. Really? I know nothing. Think salesman. I'm a horrible... Okay, I'm not a horrible salesman. I just don't want to take advantage. Um, honestly, I'll sell it for what I have in, in it, and I'll be happy to sell it. If anybody wants to pay a thousand dollars for it, um, but I'm not, I mean, I'm not gonna cry if it never leaves my house. Let's be honest. Um, show us your dog's old ass, Mr. Watson. 
That is our pug. He is our rescue. They're all our rescue dogs. He came with heartworms. So we we had him on hospice care because we thought we didn't know if he was going to survive um, survive um, the heartworm treatment. But he did. And he's doing great. This is, you know, you have your eye boogers. What is up with your eyes, dude? You have stuff all over your face, dog. And Mr. Milo, who's coming this way. Milo. Milo. Come here. Come on, Milo. He can't actually make it all the way over here because of the boxes. But come on, Milo. This is Mr. Milo. Look up. Look. This is my Great Dane. Yeah, Mr. Watson's always looking for food. Mr. Mr. Uh, Milo, he just likes attention. He's our nine-year-old um, Great Dane. His name's Milo. His, he came with the name Milo. He was owner surrendered at six. And we rescued him. He had a, a lot of health issues. So he's very expensive. He costs more than a couple Louis. Let's be honest. He's medical wise, but he's doing okay. He, I mean, nine years old for a Great Dane is pretty dang good. And uh, he gets all the love and attention. My mother loves him. And um, my mother does not love Mr. Watson. He thinks she thinks Mr. Watson is only is not cute. We're like, Watson is adorable. Um, but Milo is handsome. <laughs> so so yes, he's absolutely worth it. And I was so sad that they would they would take this beautiful puppy that they've had for six years and owner surrender him to the rescue because of his allergies. Really? I have both of uh, my toy poodles tattooed on my leg. Aww. What Watson's cute? Yes, my mother doesn't like the 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 smushed face. Thank you, Mr. Milo. And they've been very cuddly. They totally miss um, their grandma. Oh, yeah. Bags. Mr. Milo, he's nine. So he has kidney, um, kidney disease. Because he's in. But if we can get him. The only Great Danes I know of that made it up to age 12 are ones owned by vets. So every every day we have with him is another day of greatness because he's he's on a limited time scale, and we, you never know. Like we had another dog that we thought would have at least till age sixteen. He only made it to age twelve because he had cancer and, and it just we had no idea. And then one day it was like, oh, he has two types of cancer. We're like, what? Had no clue, no symptoms, nothing. You know, we went to the vet all the time, had all the blood screenings, and then you know, the way it is. So, someday I may do that with my land shark. Yeah, greyhounds too. I love greyhounds. I want to retire. <laughs> Mr. Watson. James has his new Oculus. Uh, well, he has an Oculus headset, but there's lenses you can buy now that um, are your prescription that he put on his Oculus so he can, um, he's playing with that. So normally we would not be home today. We have other things we need to do, but I'm like, look, I've been training. I'm tired. You're tired. I have unboxings. I want to do this unboxing. So here we are. Um, at this point, my dog Coda is costing me more than a Himalayan bird. Oh my goodness. What is up with Coda? Miss Jelly. That's rough. And people say, you know, get pet insurance. And that's great. But my pets came with pre-existing issues. So they don't get insurance. <laughs> hey, Brian! Um, today was exhausting. Um, he gets into everything. Oh, yeah, that's rough. You know. Well, the weirdest one we had with Mr. Milo was he got a bee sting on his ear. Or a wasp sting. We're not sure if it was a bee or a wasp. Something stung him. And it like blew up we were at the emergency vet he had to get a shot it was like oh my goodness um i'm tired but still at work until nine. Oh dear well i'm happy you're here um how is you know i was telling my friends that the best time to be at work actually is um what's it called sunday during the big game because nobody's shopping we used to have all the ladies come shopping because all the men were out. It was funny when I was working retail years and years ago. He loves worms and cicadas. Oh, no, Miss Jelly. Um, Winnie, my over here snoring like 
my uncle. <laughs> nine to nine today. That's a long day, Frozen Luxury. Been there, done that, don't miss it. And honestly, some days it's not worth the money. Yeah. Yeah, I'm still waiting for my dogs winning to um winnings to come in the mail. <laughs> Pet insurance does not cover. Oh. Really? Asthma and poppin' pippins hyperthyroidism. Well, that makes a difference because, man, that's expensive stuff. But yeah, so Mr. Milo has kidney disease, skin issues, but he's on a steroid and that's, we we did everything. We did the, the shots that are done by weight and it was like $400 for a one month shot. And then it was like, we did the um, other type of medic, oral medication for, that was like $100 a month. We did that for like a year and it still didn't do enough. But finally, we just he already was going through kidney issues so we said you know what we might as well just put him on steroids because that's the only thing that really helps him feel better and at his age he, time is not something he has a lot of you know as 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 a giant breed dog he's at the you know he's he's at the older side you know of the hill here he's on the back half you know so it was something that the, the vet said, that, yeah, it'll be okay. We just have to do blood work every three months to make sure he's okay. Um, I used to work two jobs. Like, how did I live then? I used to work two and three jobs. And right now I'm trying everything I can not to work two jobs. My sister is working two jobs and is applying for her third job. You know why? She has two babies. Those babies are expensive. I'm like, girl... You like your your daughter does not need five pairs of shoes. You know, in two months she's gonna not go fit any of those shoes, but she can't help it. She cannot help it. Um, I have a trepine trip. Um, I have no idea what that is. I've had it since my pup was eight weeks old. It covers everything and pays her vet up front nine percent of the bills. That's awesome. Whatever that type of insurance for pets is, pretty cool. Real babies and fur babies or purse babies. <laughs> Oh, yes, Saya. Patrick is still filming the show. Teachers are never paid enough. Oh, no. She's not paid enough at all. So she does teaching, and then she does a dance assistant, and then now she's going to, she's applying to work retail because on the weekends, because she just, she has, she will never be home, you know, but she has like a $900 car payment that she needs to take the kids around in. And she, she, um, cars are expensive, you know, and, that's why we're trying to fix our car. It's like week number three, still at the shop, you know. But anyhow, I have been having way too much fun. And y'all know I'm in debt. Like, like guys, this is not live vicariously through, through me, but don't do what I do. Like, don't follow my advice when it comes to financial anything. There's many people out there who are much better than I am. I am, I am pretending to be a, a functional adult, you know. Um, Winnie, he's filming for another show, and that couple from Texas, I can't remember their name of the show. I was so glad my car is paid off. Yeah, our car's almost paid off. Uh, Brian, we have, oh, that, the insurance would be around three thirty k if it wasn't for that insurance. That's pretty awesome uh, for Coco, Cammie. Um, Chip and Joanne Gaines. The games is oh wow I don't know how I feel about those that that couple because they they live up in Waco which is really close to where I'm at and my friends have been up to their um the silo and the magnolia you know farmers or whatever um and I really liked their show way back when they first started but then I don't watch television anymore and there's just something really. off with them I think for me I can't relate I think that's really what it is you see my house you're in my living room this does this look farmhouse chic to you does this look like a well designed space to you no this is make it work <laughs> um yeah i mean i just can't i can't i love the way it looks i love the way her shows look i love the way she designed stuff but like i can't live in that <laughs> you know don't be me when you think people are coming for you. <laughs> oh, very cool. I love him. He's from the South. Patrick is my lawn land 
laundry evangelist. My brother and sister-in-law flew in from Waco, from North Carolina, just to go to that damn silo. <laughs> I I don't get the hype. I don't get the hype either. I mean, I like what they, I like the concept of what they did. They took houses, older houses in Waco, and they rehabbed them into something livable and usable, which is awesome and admirable because that's what we should do. We don't, you shouldn't have to demolish something and build something new if you can rehab it. Yeah, I understand that rehabilitation can cost more, but I think it was when they first did their, they weren't making mansions. They were making like little houses into livable houses, you know? So like houses that were livable at that time period when they were built and they were never modernized. I mean, that way, I mean, that's pretty cool. Right. But then I don't know. Then they had like spinoffs and then they had deals with this and deals with that. And I'm like, I can't keep up. I don't know. Um, okay. Everyone time for this chicken wing rope lady to get her hair done. <laughs> Good night. Real older homes are built better anyway. Yes, we wanted an older home. We ended up with a new one. Uh, good night. Work tomorrow. Great live. Hey, thank you. Yes, I will be live on Friday too. I just had to do this one because I got my Ricky. It's so exciting. I'm so happy. It's my like dream bag of dream bags. You know how people have those dream bags? People have dream bags for like the Birkin or they have. I, I guess some people, a Kelly or Birkin, were the other dream bags. Some people dream of having a Louis. You know, some people dream of, um, I used to dream of having Louis. But I realized through my Louis adventures is that my dream for Louis Vuitton actually was from my mother. My mother loves Louis Vuitton. And I kept thinking, if I like this too, mom will like my bag. Because my mom doesn't like my bag taste. My mom does not like my bags. She doesn't think they're very cute. I have like 200 bags and she doesn't really like them. Okay, so she does like Louis Vuitton. So um, I I thought that if I had Louis Vuitton, mom would like my bag. Well, I was wrong. You know, she still didn't like my bags. She didn't like the Louis I liked. So you know, I figured she's never gonna like my bag taste. She's not gonna like my bag. She she thinks my bag collection are play things, like kind of like if you had family who said like you should get a grown up bag. That's how my mother looks at my bag collection. Literally, she looks at my bag collection like. That's what you want to carry? Okay. Like, yeah, it happens. Um, might be offending some people in this room. When you, <laughs> uh, would you knock someone over and elbow them to get one? Um, to get a bag? Oh, the Stanley Cup. <laughs> there is, did you guys see Dee Dee Bean's video about her Stanley Cup? Um, that's a great video to us. She'll never like my, oh yeah, my mother, you know, I should do that frozen luxury. I should, she'll never like my bag. My mother, she never likes my bags. I've given her bags. She doesn't like them. I've given her a Louis. I've given her a Louis. She asked for, she still don't like it. I gave her, um, a Celine bag. She didn't like that one. Gave her a Jones New York bag. She didn't like that one either. I gave her, what else did I give her? What are the, I'm missing something. A Michael Kors bag. She liked that one because she picked it out. And then I got her a coach bag. Also, she picked it out. So, yeah. What have I learned from this experience? My mother does not like my bags. <laughs> um, time for your Friday. What time? Oh, 6.30. 6.30 to 6.45. Um, that's what I go live. Normally, I get off work at 5.30. And by the time I get home, it's 6.30, 6.45. Um hide them. Yeah, she will love the Rickies. I Well, she won't like the pleated one. The pleated one, she'll think off the bat, old lady bag, she would never be caught dead in it. She might like the gold one. Maybe. Maybe. I'm serious. My mother, she has a LV bag, uh, the on the go, on prompt black. That's her favorite bag. She has a Lady Dior, a medium Lady Dior, and she has a couple other Louis. She only has four or five of them, but they're they're like her children. Well, more than her children. She has four of us. <laughs> so, um, no, I just ordered. Have one ordered online, um, Miss Jelly. I hide. I have. I hide my collection from my mom. She's absolutely lose her. Oh yes. Yeah, oh yeah. Um, I'm at the age where I don't care if no one likes my stuff. I like. It. Well, I did care about my mother liking my stuff, and now I've just realized she never will. She doesn't like the way I look. She doesn't like my clothing sense. She doesn't watch my YouTube. My mom loves me. 
my mom and I aren't actually friends. She she's my mother and she loves me. That's all that matters. <laughs> and I love her. We we just don't like the same things. <laughs> Uh, sorry, the line is taking over. Can't write. It's okay, Miss Jelly. Keith, my mom was like that. Um, me too, D. Oh, I was telling you, Dee Dee Beans' uh, video was. Um, is anyone live on Thursdays nights? I believe Caleb stopped going live on Thursdays. Sia, go live on Thursdays, please. Go live on Thursdays. We have a whole. Normally, Jacob is live today, but Jacob has been ill for like two weeks. Poor man. I and I'm lost. I am lost without him. I did not realize how much my week relies, uh, revolves around Jacob. I'm like, Jacob, you're like my third friend. I don't know. you. I plan my weeks around him. Like, I literally would not do stuff on Saturday. Oh, Jacob's going live on Saturday. I can't go out. <laughs> yes, go live tomorrow. Yes, Saya. Um, Thursday would be great. Yay! Um. No, so I was watching Dee Dee Bean's video on Stanley Cup, and the whole reason I, I was laughing so hard because she's right. When we were children, the Stanley Cup was your, your dad's camping gear. It was not hunting and camping gear, guys. You didn't take your Stanley Cup as an item of prestige, and now, and now, <laughs> now everybody has a Stanley Cup. I do not. I do not. Um Jackie, do you have the same mom? <laughs> do we have this? We probably do, Miss Jelly. You know, well, I'm Asian, right? I'm half Asian. So my mother married a white dude, Irish American. Somehow she thought we would be these perfect little Asian doll babies. We look like our dad's family. <laughs> it's like, mom, I'm not five foot nothing. I'm five foot four. And I'm 300 pounds. I'm sorry. I have the genes and I have all these other medical conditions. And this is, this is what I look like. And uh, she, she, she was, um, her other two children are Asian, hundred percent Thai and they are China dolls and, or Thai dolls, Asian dolls. They're very cute, very cute kids. Uh, they're 30 now. I mean, they're not children, children. They're, they're, um, one's going to be married this year. One's already married with the kid. Um, but those are her Asian baby dolls. We are her half American kids. Um, so they've been lots this week without the bunker. I know I've been lost without the fashion bunker. I need my fashion bunker. Jackie, I'm trying to get into Jacob. I want to like him. I'm trying. It's okay, Brian, if you don't. It's 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 totally cool. He's a little snarky. He um not he's not for everybody. I love the tea, I love the shade, but what I really like is his product knowledge. Like Saya, you too. Um, I need to learn from you because I don't know a lot. I mean, I know some things, but not like a lot of stuff. And he they work in this industry. I just am a moonlight. I moonlight in the I don't I'm not a fashion follower. I don't watch shows. I don't know designers. I only like handbags. I'm very narrow and I and I like very specific particular handbags not even all of them you know i love Jacob. i miss him too um the stanley cup is cute in colors but the lid leaks so it does um under yeah Jacob gets better yeah i hope he gets better because that's not fun like his this is part of his livelihood is doing this he's been doing it for nine years um and he has a lot of pre-done stuff but Man, he's got to be, I mean, this is more than the candy cane. He's, he's been down like with the, the sickness. He has the flu. Like it's seriously bad. Like he can't stop coughing. He has the extreme fatigue. Um, Jolie had this, by the way, she was down for a month. Um, Frozen says, I went, I went to have lunch with some of the coach staff today and saw the new tweed collection. Oh my gosh. Oh, I, I can't, I, I need to know. I need to know. Like coach and I have a long a love hate relationship. We really do. Um, but I still love them. I still love them. This is where it's toxic, right? It's a toxic boyfriend. They text me all the time. They show me stuff I can't afford and like stuff I still love. And I still, and still I have to buy their stuff. Um, there's so many viruses going around right now. Oh my gosh. Right. They say that the flu, um, vaccine this year was only 20% effective, which is really low. You know, so even if you got it, it probably didn't cover the variant that he got. So he probably got hit hard, like hard. Um, oh, that's awful. And I hope he gets better soon. Yeah, a lot of people are down with the flu. Um, 
that's it. I like learning from Dakin. I love hearing his opinions and he's just super entertaining. I enjoy. I have no idea how that man can do a live stream for nine hours, eight, six hours, three hours is my max. Like I can talk, but I have to take bio breaks. Like I need to stop. I need to drink something. I need to eat something. I need to get away from the computer. Stand up. That man can sit down and do a show for eight hours. I'm like, I'm diabetic. I have to get up all the time to use the restroom, guys. It's like, oh, no. Um, oh, my God. Disturbed is my shit. <laughs> that is like learning. Yeah. So I just like learning stuff. Like I'm trying to read up and, and educate because I'm, I'm so behind on fashion knowledge because I have none. Um, I'm trying to learn about Ralph Lauren. I'm trying to learn about the brand because the brands I know is Dooney. And I only know them just because I used to like, use their stuff, not because... I'm old. Like, I've been using it for 20 years. You learn things in 20 years. <laughs> hey, Melissa. Oh, Melissa. Um, my accountability is not good. <laughs> but I, this I bought before I decided I wasn't going to buy anymore. And then I said last, I said last Friday, I was not going to buy any more bags until, until March. And then today I bought one and I realized what I had done. I didn't even think about it. And I was texting Craig. I said, Craig, oh my gosh. I said, I wasn't going to buy another bag until March. And here I am. It's like, it's not even been three days. <laughs> but let me show you the bags that I already had coming in the mail that I already knew I had. But hey, tomorrow's a new day. We start again. We start again. Right? Um, this is my Bottega. This is my only one, my Bottega Bonetta Vintage Babe. She just came in the mail. She was a hundred and a half um, from Vestier Collective. There's one flaw and there's a mark in the in the leather. But other than that, she's beautiful. And it's because I love, love, love your Bottega collection. I love your Jody. I love your pouch bag. I love even your cassette that you say is too heavy. Um, I love your bags. And it's because of watching your videos. I'm like, I like I like Bottega, but I can't afford Bottega. So I went and found in the way, way, way back machine through time and somebody else's closet. I found one I could afford. <laughs> so I love it. And it's going to be my only, only one. And um, yeah, this is my second live stream. My first live stream, we had an audio difficulty. So there is a live out there with my Ricky bag unboxing. This is, this is just another, this, I unboxed uh, that Bottega. Um, Andrea, you skipped the sickness. Yes. Metal is my life, not Chipotle. <laughs> I need to talk to you about that, Winnie. <sighs> yes, the, the leather is amazing. Amazing. I, I understand what people keep talking about. So I actually have quite a few woven leather bags because they are my favorite. Um, this is the softest one I have so far. I have I have a Kohan. I used to have bass when they were when I had bass bags they don't have bass bags anymore um and i have um a dooney and burke they're heavier the gauge of the leather is much heavier this is a much lighter weaving and i had a hobo international woven bag i gave that one to ddb but um this is a a beautiful shoulder bag east west um woven leather i think it's beautiful i like i like woven leather i always have and you always just weird it's like it's cut up strips of leather. Why is it so expensive? Well, it takes more time to weave it. Um, so, disturbed version of sound, sound of silence. Yes, I do agree, Miss D. Higginbotham. That is a really great version um, of sound of silence. Woven is a pretty, it's a pretty great texture. Yes. Oh my gosh, you made it. Um, so, this is my second live stream. I had a first one. So, there's actually a first live stream with just my Ricky unboxing. And since I had an audio problem, this is my second live stream in Burke and Boy. I opened this one. This is my Bottega. My only vintage Bottega Vedetta. It is, I don't know what year, but this, this details on this are spectacular. It is amazing. Um, but let me, let me get the Ricky so you can see it closer. Um, so everybody, Burke and Boy, Craig is my enabler. Um, he found this for me. He found this for me. He sent me a listing. We've been sending, he's been sending me like, I don't know, a hundred bags. Um, and this is one of the ones, and I never, ever would have looked at a gold Ricky. I never would have thought about getting a gold Ricky. Look at how beautiful this bag is. Oh, it's like, he just got home, guys. 
This bag, right? This is my golden Ricky bag from Vestier Collective from Hong Kong. Um, and we were $380 with tax and shipping. I think shipping was free. And I had a coupon code because I was the first time purchase from Vestier Collective. And I had to pay the authentication. Um, <laughs> oh, did he send you something, Melissa? Yeah, he's, I have, if I could, if I have one of these days, I will have to do a video of all the bags I bought because of Craig. <laughs> he's really good. Like, if you are looking for anything, become his friend and ask him, hey, I'm really looking for this bag, you know. But look how beautiful. It's so stunning. It's stunning. Absolutely stunning. It is so much. It is like a third of the weight of the other Ricky, Craig. This one is literally, when they say lighter, it's lighter. Like, this is really light. And this is with me having all my stuff in it. Um, well, Melissa was saying either earlier brick with that you should have a yeah he could you should do a finder's fee and do um and just do personal shopping um d but i'm an easy sell guys i'm i'm also um i know right the gold is amazing it doesn't you know what that photo looked like it it looked kind of overly bright like it looked a little too much exposure and in person it's more of a, a bronze i mean not bronze but antique gold it's not that super i was worried it was going to be like that super kind of fake gold look this is gorgeous there's not there's like two flaws on it two flaws that's it um <laughs> uh slipknot uh yes jelly i just realized that in 40 years of metal um 40 years a metal head damn i'm old duck <laughs> Pixie, is that a Ricky that you didn't think? Yes, yes, Pixie, this is the Ricky. Like last Friday when I talked to y'all last, it was, um, it literally was, I don't think I'm getting this bag. That night, my Bottega shipped, and the next morning, at the last minute, they shipped the Ricky. Like if it had not shipped that day, it would have been refunded. I was shocked. Um, you're not so old as long as you can bang your head maybe slower and more cautiously. Yes. Um, dream theater, Lamb of God, no. Night, 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 everyone. Hey, good night, beautiful steps. Um, see you tomorrow. Sleep well. Um, ain't that the truth, Andrea? Keith, that bag reminds me of the Hermes Birkin bag, but I like that. I like the, um, I said the same thing too. Um, I have a bag I've been thinking about sending me, Melissa. Well, unless you're sending, talking to somebody else, uh, don't forget to, oh yeah, thumbs up, please. Um, no, the <sighs> breathe and relax. <laughs> I'm just so excited about this bag. This is ser Oh, yes, me, me. Oh, thank you, Melissa. I will not say no to a bag. I am... I'll, well, you're trying to reduce bags, but I'm totally fine with bag swapping, too, guys. I love sharing bags. I love sharing my love of bags. Um, I love all the bags. This is my 2024 wish list bag. I wrote a wish list in 2023 for fun. I said I wrote it down. I put it on my... my um, it's right here. I wrote it and I and I said I'm gonna put it right here. This is, well, you're not gonna see it very well, but it's like Ricky bag and it says the Indian, the India bag from the row and Hermes Belide. Now I don't think I'm at, I didn't think I'd get any of these bags. I didn't think it was possible. Like I thought maybe the Ricky was more realistic because the Ricky full price is what those bags sell like used. The other two, it's a bag I'm not using. I thought you might like. Well, I. Would love it if you want to send it to me, Melissa. Um, sorry, guys. I'm a little all over the place. I got through getting injections in my hands now. Pain injections. Oh, my gosh. The fact that you can type at all after having injections in your hands, Craig, is amazing. And wow. Um, normally, when you it, it hurts and then it feels better, but it hurts first. Um, girl, I just saw the Jesus upside down. Yeah, not... 
I saw the Jesus upside. What are we talking? I missed something. Um, do you like the row Mar um Margot bag? I do. I do. I love the Margot bag. And they're coming out with another version, the East West version. I think I like the East West version more than the, the original. And don't I was watching Leia Sophia's video today, and there's they have another bag coming out that's more of a boxy kind of um bowler-ish kind of bag. I love that bag. And Birkin Boy says he Craig likes the sling bag. I can't remember the whole name of it. Very pretty. If you haven't seen Layla's video today, go watch it. She shows all of the new the row bags. And I love her. She says she was so funny. Um, it was Layla said, if you want to see their new clothes, you can, but then tell me make two X's and three X's, they don't fit me. <laughs> I'm like, girl, I am with you. I am with you. If, if designers designed plus size clothing, do you know how much money they would make? <laughs> it's like y'all gatekeeping here. Gatekeeping to size. I think the highest size they make is what size 12 American. If you're, if, even if that high, um, I'm taking, I'm talking to text. Ah, Birkin Boy, that makes sense. Andrea, we're talking music. Um, thank you, I'll survive. Woohoo! I should do that, Birkin Boy, by typing bytes. I mistype everything. Um, they make a larger size in men's select section in the row. Yeah, okay. Yeah, they do. So Birkin Birkin Boy, the he's been looking for the Margot forever. And and he wants the brown one. They've had black ones, the brown one. There's a tan one, like a taupe color. There's a suede version. Now, I like them. I'm not going to lie. But they're three grand. So I really like the India bag. The India bag is also expensive. I mean, I'm not going to lie. The row is expensive. Have I ever seen a row bag? No. Have I ever been to the row? No. Have I ever seen any of their clothing or merchandising other than YouTube? No. I live in the middle of Texas, in a rural part of Texas. I don't shop at Neiman Marcus. I don't shop in Nordstrom's. I don't shop at the Saks Fifth Avenue. I shop at Macy's. Macy's. And that's when I have money. Like, a lot of the times I'm shopping. I'm, guys, I'm wearing a $14 dress with a $400 bag. That $400 bag is the extent of the highest tier of bags in my collection, guys. You know, I just have volume. I have volume. <laughs> So, speaking of wake up to fave, Melissa, oh, I'm cooking dinner. I, I have to go, but I'll send you a pic of that. Sure, Melissa, thank you. Um, I thank you for dropping by, too. Um, I still adore Judas Priest and Iron Maiden. Put on a little makeup. Y'all music people, I don't even, okay, guys, guys, it's like country. But did anybody watch the Grammys? Because I feel like to me, getting this Ricky was like like equivalent to Miley Cyrus getting her Grammy because I was like dancing. I was so happy Miley got her um award by the way because I think she deserved it. I love Miley Cyrus and I'm like, how does she only have one Grammy? I thought she had more than one Grammy. Only one Grammy? I'm like, no, she deserves more than one Grammy. But mm -hmm, I am a Miley Cyrus fan. Before y'all come for me. I watch the Grammys after sh shorts of YouTube. Yeah, I don't watch. I used to watch stuff, but I don't watch stuff anymore. I don't watch award shows. I used to watch all the award shows. I used to watch the Grammys, the Oscars, you know, People's Choice, whatever they showed, I watched. I used to watch um, pageants. I don't watch any of it. Miley was adorable in her speech. Performance, love her. Yeah, I know, right? Um, so it's like, I just had a, I totally love the joy that she showed when she won that award you know she just like joy you know and that's that's pretty awesome how much do we all love jay-z um i don't actually know what jay-z said he said something about his wife not getting album of the year or something um miley was scared of mariah mariah can if if you hear if only a fraction of the stuff you hear about mariah carey is correct i'd be afraid of her too <laughs> cool seeing Celine Dion as well. The Quebec celebrity was always, I love Celine Dion. She was my favorite in the 90s. Still still some of her best music. And I didn't realize it was her son who was walking her around and that was really cool. Um, waiting for the Oscars. Oppenheimer should sweep it. Um, now I 
gotta hear the remedy. <laughs> Sling got ignored. She did? I didn't think she got ignored. Um... I love Celine, but I I like the that the new generation of, of musicians. I mean, I'm old guys. I don't remember when you turn on the top forty music and you have no clue who's singing. That's me. <laughs> like I don't know who's popular. I have I just know what I like. Hey, I am all okay. So we were talking today. Um, Blue Ivy was wearing Vivian Westwood. So pretty. Oh, that. That was Vivian Westwood dress. That dress was phenomenal. I didn't know who wore who Vivian. Vivian, she made some really nice clothes. Um, Taylor did not make over. Um, I'm older than you, but I'm down with the cool kids. I I'm not. I'm not. I mean, I listen to country and western music. Like for for right now, learn. I I was talking today. To Toby Keith just recently passed like he from stomach cancer and i saw toby keith in concert many 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 times he's one of my favorite country and western singers and i was so sad i'm like oh man i really liked him and, and that's he was so young guys so young um yeah hearing your favorite music and commercials <laughs> jay-z said that it makes no sense to win so many grammys for for many categories, yet never album of the year. Something like that. Oh, and yes, so cute with the daughter. Well, you know, I don't know how, who votes on the awards or how they work or whatever, but you know, Taylor basically ignores, oh, she did. I think Taylor just is, she has that ice queen look, but she has a lot of fans. I don't actually own any Taylor Swift music. I actually own several albums of Miley Cyrus and I watched her movies when she did movies with Hannah Montana as an adult I went and watched her movies I, you know and I like Miley I do I've never owned anything from Taylor I mean she she does a beautiful uh, walkway she's always photographed people love her music but I, I don't know I'm not her I don't I don't even guys I don't even listen to Beyonce or Rihanna did I tell you um, country and western now. George Strait, Alan Jackson. Yeah, those people. Yeah, I know those people. <laughs> Did Toby Keith have cancer? Yeah, he had stomach cancer. Um, yeah, the Academy of Music people. That's why there's a People's Choice Award, right? Because those are for the people. Just none of the albums of the year. Yeah, he had stomach cancer. D, he just passed from cancer. Yep. No, Taylor, I love her. I don't. I don't know anything about. I mean, I like her music when I hear it. I just don't have own any of it. You know, I've never bought any of it. Um, who are these people? Who are those people? <laughs> oh, complaining about album of the year seems kind of meh. That's one Grammy. Over yeah, it's just one Grammy. It's just album of the year. It's like I would rather have like other awards, but I don't know. Beyonce should have been embarrassed. Taylor is a smart businesswoman. <laughs> he likes stuff. He's fresh. I don't listen to a lot of music. I don't even know who Lizzo is. I know she got... I think she got in trouble for something. Or is that somebody else? I don't know. Like, I don't listen to a lot of music. If I do, I know. I listen to classical. When I'm listening to music, it's like I need to concentrate. So I need something to go into the background. So I like classical music and I like orchestra and I like symphonies and I like listening to them like in person. So did I tell you my parents are, my parents were old, that my dad was born in 1938 and my grandmother was born in 1908. And <laughs> we listened to a lot of, you know, culture. My dad insisted that we, he basically what it comes down to is, the only thing they could agree on was classical music. My dad hated Elvis. He hated rock. He really honestly liked more R&B music, but his mother didn't. So to make everybody happy, we listened to classical music. <laughs> Listen, I'm not a big country fan. Is Toby Keith the one who had beer with the Dixie Chick? Beef with the Dixie Chicks? I don't know if he did or not. Um, he might have. I think it might have been the other way around, though. I think the Dixie Chicks might not have liked Toby, because Toby's pretty much 
the, everything like the Dixie Chicks aren't. <laughs> so I like the Dixie Chicks. Um, I love classical. I really love a music country. I'm slowly getting into country. I like I, the reason I like country, and I have always liked country, is I can listen to the melody, and I can listen to the lyrics. I can hear the lyrics, and I can. I like folk music too. Um, James Taylor. I liked John um, Denver. I like bluegrass. I like music I can hear. Um, Jackie the S. The three great grandmas 1898 grandma 1819 dad 1948 and me 1968 i went through and had the oh wow yeah so you know what i'm talking about like who whose parents didn't like elvis mine you know it's funny my mother's favorite musician is, is um abba abba like we were, we grew up listening to Diana Ross and and the Supremes because that's what my dad liked, you know. And again, um, we listened to classical when we were around, you know, the rest of the family. Um, always love classical. I like just love other genres more. Great times to be alive. But yeah, I know, right? Like we can listen to whatever we want. <laughs> yeah, K-pop. Okay, K-pop. I don't, and I'm Asian. I'm not there. I'm not there. You know, I love all the genres. It really depends on my mood. I don't really like rap because I can't hear it. Um, it's too fast. Um, but I'm, I, I have, I can't hold a tune in a bucket. I can't sing. Anybody who can sing I, has tons of talent, you know. Uh, K-pop is not for me. I don't like, I didn't, I passed, I didn't do the boy bands, you know. I didn't do any of that. I missed all of that. I didn't do um, the One Direction. I didn't do any of the the boy band that was around when I was a kiddo. Was like uh, New Kids on the Block, you know. But they didn't last very long. But I mean, I didn't do In Sync. I didn't do any of those things. You know, I'm half Korean. I don't like K-pop. <laughs> oh, I love all types of music. If I can hear the the words, I like the music. Um. I hate <laughs> hate that everyone started calling me Opa after the K-pop craze came out. No, no, Keith, no. <laughs> Little Nas and X day every day. <laughs> Linda S, I hear you. Um, Dua Lipa, Miley, Bu Buna, Bruno, Bruno, tomorrow metal. I don't know. I mean, it's like the '80s rock is gone. Like I liked Aerosmith. I mean, and and. I, my favorite band is actually Blue October. Like, I have almost every album, except for the last one, that, that he's made. Um, I love Blue October. Small band, you know. Usher, relevant enough. Oh, my gosh. I don't understand why Usher is at the game. Who's, who signed that one up? Oh, we were joking. We said that if, okay, if the Chiefs win, it's because of Taylor. If the Chiefs lose, it's because of Taylor. <laughs> That's what my friends are telling me. I'm like, because I'm a Chiefs fan, and my friend is a, um, a 49ers. So he's all about the 49ers. And I'm like, and what? So we were like, we should watch the game together. And then we said, no, maybe we shouldn't. Um, definitely like 80s music. I love um, Heart. I like Coldplay, Yellow. I love Savage Garden. Um, I like a lot of music that was very popular in the 90s now. I miss them in the 90s. I didn't like them, but now I like them. Like Lincoln Park and what was that other one? <sighs> Smashing Pumpkins. I, I actually, what I did was I took a bunch of James's music that he had and Blink-182 took his music and listened to it. Like, this is really good music. And my sister's like, yeah, they were really popular when we were growing up. Like, yeah, but I didn't know them when we were growing up. I know them now. <laughs> 20 years later. Um, Third Blind Eye. They have not even played up Usher as the show um, commercials. You know, the game is all about the commercials. People talk about the commercials more than the game. Um Savage Garden split up because they were a couple who split. Aw, that's sad. Um, is that new Ricky? I see. Yes, it is Dom's Donuts. 
Don's Donuts. Were you the one who messaged me on Instagram? Because I had Don message me and then said nothing. Um, Andrea, I have to pick on the oldies. Oldies decades might be the 80s. <laughs> oh, I didn't know that, Burke and Boy. I wish I had been born in the 70s. Um, oh, I really like uh, Karen Carpenter. Uh, some good music. Um, kind of like what happened to Jack White and his wife. I have no idea who Jack White is or his wife. <laughs> Duh. Yes, yes. I messed up. Didn't know what I was doing. But I think I figured it out. Yes, Don's Donuts. I'm so happy that was you because I figured it was you. Um, because it just it just occurred. I mean, how many people do I know, Don? I don't. You know, anyone like Nickelback? I liked Nickelback, and then Nickelback got a lot of flack for their the way they vocalize. But I like them. Um, Craig Savage was so cute. Their ring. Um, Jack White was the front man for White Striped. I don't know them either. PGs, okay, yeah. Yeah, genre music, I like it. I admire it. I admire other people's ability to, to, to create it and to, to make it, but I, I, I know nothing. Um, his wife was the drummer. Um, Supermodel. Didn't I sure get sued over and over for giving his... <laughs> Oh my gosh. I can't with Nickelback. Sorry, y'all. I know a lot of people don't like them and they didn't really survive time, you know. Um, the village people. <laughs> oh gosh. I had to ask James who Clarence Clearwater or Clear Clarence what's this water? What's it called? Cold water? What? He'll he'll die if he heard me say this. James is so knows so much more music than I do. He knows so much more. I know nothing. I know nothing. <laughs> he he even had to, who um what's that Midwestern duo that is on like everywhere? Um, I can't I can't clear clear credence credence clear water. Thank you. <sighs> he played their music. I knew the music. I didn't know the name of the creators. I'm like, oh yeah, I know that song. Why do I know that song? Why do I know that song from Rock Band? And he's like, Jackie, you just did not. <laughs> it's like, uh... <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of stuff I don't know. There's a lot of stuff I just do not know. Um, rewrite. I was jamming out Savage Garden via. Alexa the other day in two days. <laughs> um, there's a bad moon in the front. <laughs> you guys are hilarious. This is this is funny. Normally you guys aren't even this lively on um on a Friday. This is fun. Don't you get me started on Spanish music? <laughs> I do know some Thai music. Well, I can't sing it, you know, obviously, but my my mother can. Oh, the cranberries. I love the cranberries. I liked Enya. Way back in the day, yeah, you know, she allegedly so yes, allegedly Usher did get sued. Oh, I I haven't seen Usher in a long time. I'm like, apparently he released some new music or something. Rob Zombie, um, so I've actually seen a lot of people, um. In concert more than James has, but they're all country and western. We were talking about today, like I was listening all the list, listing all the the concerts I'd been to, and he's like, "Who are you?" Well, the thing is, when I was in my twenties, um, and in high school and college, um, we lived near an amphitheater, an outdoor amphitheater. It was a small venue amphitheater, but it had a lot of bands go through it, and um, if you buy one ticket. You can go to a whole lot of shows um, and really good seats, super good seats. So I just went by myself. I didn't go with my friends. I just drove my truck over there, went in there, went to the God drink, went and watched bands. And I went to tons of concerts that way. And then the open air amphitheater was in a place where um, they started building 
houses. And then, oh, of course, the residents were like, it's too noisy. So they closed the amphitheater, which is sad. And then I stopped going to, I stopped going to concerts because the venues got bigger. And if I'm going to keep going to big venues, I'm just going to, like, guys, I'm not spending this much money to go to a concert to watch the Jumbotron. You know, Don Stones, I've been to a gazillion concerts, but I'm a dinosaur. I used to go to a lot of concerts, all country and western, go to the rodeo. I'd do all kinds of stuff. But um, that's when I was in my 20s. And I was before my car accident. After a car accident, you could not pay me to go to a concert now and sit in any concert seating. Any concert seating. I'm like, nope, can't do it. Can't do it. I can barely go to Broadway, you know, because, you know, of the seating in Broadway with my spine injury. I'm like, yep, can't do that. Can't do this. But those are the days. <laughs> I'm happy I had a fun 20s. My car accident was in my 30s, so I've spent most of my... from I was 32 when my I broke my spine. I wish I'd seen Queen. I would have looked... Yeah. All the fun things. I want to see Shania Twain. With my mom, and it was a oh, that was awesome. I um, I wanted to go to I can't remember which which tour it was, but it was one of Rolling Stones tours in the nineties, and I wanted to go. And I was young enough that my dad drove me to the box office, and we were at. And this is when you had to go to a box office, you know. And then you go to the box office and I'm sitting there. We're looking at tickets and we're looking at this is when they have the maps and they're looking at this is seat we could get. And it's like computer. And it's like DOS space. This is how long, how long ago it was. And um, he stood there and talked me out of going to the Rolling Stones at the box office. And somehow I left. Without ever seeing the Rolling Stones. And the next years. I mean the rest of my life. I have been talking about this. I don't know how dad did this. But he talked me out of going to the Rolling Stones. At the box office. Like he he didn't tell me outright no. He said. Let's just. Okay let's go. And I was going to go by myself. And he literally. And those poor people at the box office. Were looking at me like. Whoa. And they they were they didn't they didn't try to contradict my father. <laughs> my father and my sister was with me and they talked me out of going to the Rolling Stones and I just went home. <laughs> I was like, what? Uh Birkin Boy, I went to see Adele last year, two tickets, fifty-eight. Well, you know, Birkin Boy, I am sure it was worth every penny because that woman is amazing. And there is something to be said about live music. Blue October, my favorite band, in concert, in person, is amazing. He tours constantly. His voice is amazing. So much better than his recorded stuff. His recorded stuff is pretty damn good. But in person, the power and projection of his voice, he is so good. So I'm all for live music. If you almost, it's not the same you know, as, as, you know, sometimes the recorded music is the best recording, sound engineers, things happen, right? But there's something about the character of live music. You can't recreate, you can't, you can record it, but the environment of the venue, the environment of the people, yeah, that was worth, that's a lifetime, you know, the Sea Adele, that's pretty dang cool. Yeah. Salt Stones. Um, did you get front row seats? I saw Adele too a few years ago. She was amazing. Um, I did get to see um, Kelly Clarkson after she won American Idol. <laughs> I went to the tour. <laughs> too many concerts in my past. I'm done. Well, yeah, you worked those. Working those is not the same as attending those. Um, Janet, you mean Janet Jackson? Is she touring? This year in April with my parents and aunt. I'm going to see Andre Bocelli. That's pretty dang awesome, Maria. 
I've seen every tour Jana has been since 1988. That's pretty dang cool. Um, I saw her a couple years ago. Great concert. I think one of the most fun concerts I've ever been to is actually Gloria Estefan. She is a fun, fantastic concert. Um, Ed Sheehan or Sheeran, Janet Jackson, Winnie, do you wear the key as ear? <laughs> Um, Alan Jackson, George Strait, Winona Judd, Clay Walker, Toby Keith, Keith Urban, Tim McGraw. They're, these are all country and western. Uh, I've seen all of them. Sarah Evans. I don't even think she's making music anymore. Um, but all 20 years ago. Again, after I broke my spine, it's never been the same again. Um, Journey. It's cool. The black denim. <laughs> Concerts are just so expensive. And there's and they're arenas now. They're just giant arenas. Stevie Nicks is going on tour. <laughs> Bruno Mars. I like Bruno's music. I would I wouldn't mind seeing. I like I would like to see anybody in concert again. Um I don't think I want to spend Taylor Swift money to see a concert because oh my goodness. Or Beyonce or Rihanna. It seems like those would be our Madonna's currently on tour, I think. I actually can't. I think the last concert I went to was actually Blue October. The 80s personified. <laughs> yeah. But it's the experience, right? The experience. But oh, gosh, I have a hard enough time going to, I think I'm too, after the whole pandemic times, I don't know if I could do any type of crowded venue, says the woman who goes to Disney World. But in Disney World, I actually am not on any rides or lines. I'm only just tooling around the park um, so I can avoid the masses. And, um, but I don't think I could do a huge concert. I don't know if I want to see Lady Gaga. The last concert you went to 15 years ago. Look, I love Madonna, but her tour is going, isn't going well. She might just need, yeah, I think she needs to... Well, she's trying to tour like she, like 20 years ago. I think even though her music is in the 80s and it's in 90s, she should be touring appropriate to her age. I mean, really. I mean, she, she the woman broke and hurt her hip or something. Like, don't be running around the dang stage. Lauren Hill does the same thing too. Super late. Oh, she's showing up hours and hours late. Whoa, those Grammy awards though, give out. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Ozempic treat bags. Yeah. Um. She before her concert or something, she fell and broke her leg or something weird. I don't know. Like pink flying around on stage. Well, pink. She's in her 40s, you know. I think she can fly around. Maybe she should give up flying around. I don't know. I haven't seen Pink either, although I like her music too. You know. Well, anyway, it's been an hour and a half. It is eight o'clock. And I actually have to go to work tomorrow. 
I have more training to do. And I will be back on Friday. And I'm going to... No, I'm... I don't know what's going to happen the rest of this year. But I can tell you, I have my 2024 wish list bag. I have two of them. I have two Rickies. Oh my god, I'm so happy. Um, so thrilled to have them. Um, I, I can't believe... Um, my little family of bags over there. Um, <laughs> it's just beyond happy. I compare everything to the Ricky now. Everything. Ozempic oh, trick bags. Perfect. <laughs> um, well, the thing is so, you know. Oh, yes, absolutely. Um, enjoy the bag, Jackie. Wear it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Love you guys. Thank you for hanging out with me. It's been awesome. Um, I am so thrilled. I'll have something else to unbox on Friday. Um, now I need to film. I have, I have an entire month of videos waiting for processing. I'm going to be busy. This is so much fun. Thank you. Thank you, Maria. Um, yes, I will be live on Friday. It will be at 6.30, 6, between 6.30 and 6.45, um, depending on traffic. Um, and was it years ago? Okay. Um, anyhow, somewhere in this pile of boxes, I have a Coach Rogue I need to unbox for y'all. I will make it a mission to find it so Friday I can open up my coach bags because I'm in, I've been saying a lot of negative things about coach, but in real life I love coach. It's just I'm not gonna be buying any more of their collabs. It's a love hate relationship, guys. Love hate. Anyhow, I am going to clean up my mess and go to bed. I'm tired. Um. So anyway, good night, y'all. Thank you for hanging out with me and thumb up the live. Both of them. If you want to see the Ricky unboxing, it's in my other live. <laughs> so, have a great day. Bye.